Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I thank the Special Advisor on the Prevention of Genocide, Ms. Alice Wairimu Nderitu, and His Excellency Omar Hilale, Permanent Representative of the Kingdom of Morocco, for the invitation to join this important high-level event today, albeit virtually. Hate speech has become one of the most virulent methods used to spread divisive rhetoric and ideologies. Its pernicious impacts amplified by new communications and social media technologies that relentlessly torment its targets. This has led to an alarming surge in discrimination, intolerance, and physical violence across all societies. Left unchecked, hate speech leads to dehumanization, laying fertile ground for atrocity crimes, including genocide and crimes against humanity. The United Nations, operating as an integrated, cohesive system, must be the bulwark against its destructive march and take coordinated action at every turn to address the drivers of hate speech. Where prejudice grows, we must stand strong for the equality of all. We must embrace compassion and empathy over intolerance and hate. We must create space to understand and indeed to value the beauty of cultural and religious diversity. And in all we do, we must reflect the values of harmony, tolerance, understanding, and respect, foundational to vibrant, healthy societies that are resilient to violence. In order to succeed, we must engage the world's 1.2 billion young people who make up 16% of the global population. As the most connected online, they are often the first to be exposed to online hate as targets, victims, or bystanders. And they have an essential role to play as actors for positive change. We must empower these new generations of digital citizens to recognize, reject, and stand up to hate speech. Their spirited engagement in the upcoming Summit of the Future in September is already driving our global agenda, strengthening our multilateral system, and laying new foundations for a brighter future. In these efforts, it is critical to bolster the role of education in their lives our first line of defense in dispelling stereotypes and fostering understanding. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, let me close by reassuring you that, as President of the General Assembly, I stand firmly against hate speech, and I will continue to do my part to counter it. This includes redoubling efforts to engage with all stakeholders including women, youth, and civil society, to promote a culture of tolerance and respect among individuals, societies, and nations. I will use every opportunity to listen and learn. Together, we must find unity in our common humanity. We must ensure that everyone, everywhere, is protected from hate speech. I thank you.